Well, this whole outfit that you see, right? Look at I, I don't even know if I can, I'm like, I'm, um, I don't even know, I'm a mom. I don't even, I can't even pull off this outfit with the jeans and stuff. I don't give a shit, but you know, I'm going, I'm, I'm going out, so I wore my best. But all, this whole outfit, even the bling, even the choker, I have a choker on, look at that. Right, I am, right. 50 years old with a choker, all right. Everything you see, Kohl's cash, right here, no lie. Yes, I love Kohl's cash. I didn't think, oh, now, I, now I'm with my people. I didn't think you knew Kohl's cash here in Connecticut. I didn't think you guys, I thought you guys pay, pay full price. I love, it's a love-hate, Kohl's cash is a love-hate thing because you get that Kohl's cash. Have you ever had that expire in your wallet? Oh my God, you hate yourself for a month. You just like every day you want to fucking kill yourself. That's how bad. The next time you go in, you next time you have that Kohl's cash, you're like, I'm going to beat the system. You know what I'm talking about, right, Mama? Yes, I know that's your daughter, right? Do I know? Yeah, is that? Yeah. So, yeah. So, where we go? There's another one my age. All right. So, yeah, it's, you, it's a love-hate thing. When you get that $10, you're like, I'm going to beat the system. I know what they're doing. I'm going in. I'm getting a $10 shirt, socks, something, out. That's it. Scarf, out. Going in and out. In a, $250 later. And more Kohl's cash. It's a vicious circle. Have you ever done the Kohl's cash and the 30% and the $5 yes? Oh, yeah, you did it. That is, that is the bargain cent. That's a triple trifecta bargain century. That is, you have not lived, gay guy. You have not lived until you've done that. To me, firing a bargain is like having an orgasm. Well, not really. I mean, if you think about it, I couldn't fake a bargain. So it's not quite like that. Do I have to explain that to you, the boy band? Do I have to explain that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake, all right, whatever. All right, so. Going back to school, this is dedicated to the teacher going back to school. Give her a round of applause and all the other teachers. We have to, uh, we, you know, everybody's working. It's tough. I, I, I do Zooms. That's like the hard. I do, I did, I, my last gig was in a, a parking lot with cars. I had beeping for applause. That's what I had. Uh, yeah, so we're all working under uh, difficult situations. I'm sure you guys are too. I mean, my town, going back, the re-entry plan, I swear to God, they try to make it so easy. This is how easy it is. This is the, this is the, going, the re-entry plan for my school. I'm sure your school was, is, was the same. So everyone going back to school will be put on a one, two, three cohorts. These cohorts will be, um, will be going every third day. And on the seventh day, everybody will stay home for remote learning. That seventh day will be on a two-hour delay, maintaining our A and B schedules. We will not maintain our C schedules because C begins with COVID, and we don't want anybody to be reminded of COVID. Unless, of course, it's a snow day, then we'll be doing the C day. But then that's only ca called the catch-up day. Students going to school will be getting their temperature checked. Everyone needs their temperature checked by our new scanning devices. Unless, of course, your student went to a high-risk state. That's not Connecticut. You guys never been high-risk, thank God. Yes. Round of applause for that. Unless your student went to a high-risk state, then that student needs to get their temperature checked by the school nurse the baby way. That would be in the rectum. That would be. Are you going back to school? You guys look like you're in school now. Unless, of course, you know Miley Cyrus, then you do not need your temperature checked. Do not. If you know Miley Cyrus, you're in good news. You are exempt as long as you tell everybody you had sex with. Parents dropping their kids off at school will go drop their kids off counterclockwise in the parking lot on Tuesdays and Thursdays. On Friday, you go, you go, counter, you go clockwise, but you have to get out of your car and do your best TikTok impression of Cardi B, number one hit song, Wet Ass Pussy.